So Metallica. Metallica put out a new concert uh, record slash DVD slash whatever, however you listen to music. So S and M too. S and M had to grow on me. S and M did not attract my attention that much to begin with. I was not a. It's not that I was like thinking it wasn't this or wasn't that. It was just that was during their uh, their rock and roll period. I like to call it when they they thought they could just make rock and roll records and they didn't make heavy metal records anymore. Load or reload is what I'm talking about. I'm not a big fan. I do think Saint Anger is a great record though. That's that's my controversial take of the video. So S and M two trying to. So all of this stuff, and you get the download of the audio too, which is the, the majority of the time I listen to it on my phone or or my, my laptop. So having a download is nice, but let's get right into the good stuff here. Take this. Symphony Metallica. I've seen all the videos they put out on YouTube lately, and I really like what they did with it. I ended up liking s and over time. It just took a little while. This, I, I know what I'm getting into now, and I, from the jump, I'm like, okay, I'm in. So, our box. Oop, get a little squishy. Get your, uh, I forgot what you call them, but anyway. So inside the box, what do we got? Have our CDs, which are which is the concert itself. So those of you who still use CD players, I have a CD player. I have a few of them. I don't really use them anymore because I just do everything digitally because it's just simpler to just dump unless I'm like doing a record, which I did buy the vinyl. So those CDs, anything special on the CD? I haven't had a, I haven't bought a CD in a long time. I'm guessing. No, I can't remember the last time. So that's what a CD looks like, kids. There was a point where all I had were CDs. And I had it was, I had tapes too, but I would, I would listen to everything on CDs. I had to put CDs in the car to make music, not, not to make music, but to listen to music. So you got that. This is the actual concert itself on Blu-ray. Boom. Blu-ray is a technology that, bought, that we thought was gonna replace the DVDs back here. Kind of did, kind of didn't. But if you want to watch it, that's a Blu-ray. So you have to put it in the machine in a Blu-ray player and hit play button. And then it's instead of just like selecting the stream and hit, hit next. It's cool. Guitar picks. Wow. They don't, I don't know what kind of, I would assume these are just not really that useful of a guitar pick meaning I for me I like a thick guitar I like I usually use like a 1.5 but these are really nice oh S and M so oh it has the date so let's see how close I can get here do you like the beauty vloggers so that has the date Sym Symphony Metallica has the logo on it so that's that one there's two of those. These seem like uh, 0.75 maybe, because like a lot of times I don't use a black flat a fang as much, but like the James Hetfield one I have right here, it's a 1.4, so it's a thicker pick. That's, it doesn't matter. I, I wouldn't use them anyway because they're just for a show. Uh, same thing with this guy. It's just a different color. So we got that, and then Symphony Metallica with the dates on it. September 6th and 8th of last year. So almost a year is coming up. Same thing, the gray one, and then there's a tux one. There's only one of the tuxed one. Same thing, San Francisco Symphony, September 6th and 8th, 2019. And going back to the load and reload era, there was a period, I think, I forgot what song they did with their wearing tuxes. I want to say Hero of the Day, but I can't remember off the top of my head. Here are a 
copy of the sheet music for the song All Within My Hands, which wasn't, I, I really like this, like I, I go back to St. Anger, I really like the St. Anger version of All In My Hands, I think that's a really good song. This one, I've heard it a few times and it's grown on me, how they've taken apart. They did another song just for YouTube, Blackened. They did an acoustic version of Blackened, which I think came out really good. So seeing something like this, and uh, I don't know how to read sheet music, <laughs> but this is pretty cool use if you, if you know how to read it. So this is all the arrangements for uh, All Within My Hands, actual, the symphony parts. So now we got, oh, a poster. <laughs> wow. So that's easy to read. Open it as I can. Oh, it's large. Symphony of Metallica. Look at that. So it's the big logo. The big logo, and it's pretty big. Uh, the logo for this for this record. Oh, this is the booklet. Uh, oh, look how shiny it is. <laughs> so. Can probably even see the camera. Yeah, there's the camera and there's the monitor on the camera. It's shiny. It has Lars wrote the intro. Have pictures. These are some of the pictures uh, that are on. Like some are Instagram are also on Instagram, but then they have like these. Here's Kirk, Robert. Mars, the conductor, there's James, of course, Mars again, Robert, Kirk, there's James and Lars again, there's the guys. of words from the musical director and the conductor just the track listings all the thanks and things like that so that's cool and then the last big piece yeah the last big piece are the actual records themselves SM records now it is divided into four LPs so let's take a look at one of them. So we got this. Let's take out one of them. I think that the vinyl is colored. It's an orange. Oh, orange and wow, that's cool. Okay. So if you're curious as to what the vinyl looks like, here it is. Ecstasy of Gold, the song that always played the intro. Call of Cthulhu, which is fun. That's how they opened up SM, the first one. And for whom the bell tolls. So it's very similar. The Day That Never Comes. So they go into something off that, that they hadn't played. And the memory remains, confusion. So then they, they do play songs off of hardwired to self hardwired to self-destruct, which is nice. So got these. Let's look through the book real quick. Because this thing is set up like a book. from the because they played it the first one they played in a symphony hall and this one they actually just did it in an arena and fit it to their needs so that got pictures of the guys again with Metallica written on it very nice the third page just action shots of the guys playing there's James there's Kirk I'm assuming if you're watching Metallica unboxing video, you know who Metallica is and who they are. So, uh, Symphony of Metallica. There's the track listings if you want to look at them. You should already know what they are, I'm assuming. So, this 
is going to be fun to watch. It's it's an interesting mix to have heavy music and classical music together. Of course, we all know we all know what we're getting into this time, and I think this time they pulled it off a lot better, and they did not then a lot better, but it's just a little more refined, and they already know what they're walking into. So that is S and M two, S and M two. Uh, like, this, like I said, I've already watched most of all the songs that they put out on YouTube. It looks really great. It sounds really great sonically. So I'm looking forward to actually sitting down and watching the whole thing. And there we go.